Hi, this is Billy. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a mini stove with the size of B6 using titanium metal sheets. This is around 0.4 mm thick. You can buy this in some of the online shops. The one I got from Hong Kong is around 160 Hong Kong dollar. You just need one meter of that to create this stove. I modified the original design to add an oven at the bottom. So the total weight without the oven is 310 gram, with the oven is 450 gram. This is the titanium metallic sheets that I ordered, 140 RMB, size is 270 millimeter. I just need one meter to make this stove. The following video records what I did to create a stove. The first one is the base, just cut it into the shape. And then the front and back, after cutting, you need to do some complex cutting according to the pattern. Uh, the pattern I got by following the original B6 stove. Then followed by the leg of the stove, you need two of them. Uh, this is pretty simple, just cut it according to the shape and then bend it. Drill a hole at the base around 1.5 cm from the edge at both sides, front and back. Then you can put the leg and the front and back together using a screw or you can use a rivet. We will cut some metal from the base of the leg so we can bang it to the inside to create a supporting for the oven. 
the base of the oven that we will put in later on. Next is the two sides. So this is the pattern. Just cut two pieces of metallic sheets from titanium row of sheets. Then draw the pattern and cut it into shape. On one of the sides, we need to cut a window so we can create a door for us to put in the wood or the charcoal. So just drill some holes and make that window. This is how it looks so far. Let's create the door for that window. Now we need to create the base of the oven.
Now we create the side of the oven. We need two sides, the back side and the front side. The front side will become the door of the oven. To create a hinge, you need to draw up a number of teeth and then cut it into shape. And then bend the cylinder tube where we can insert the stainless steel rod, which will be the pivot of our hinge. Now we can use the stainless steel to hook the two pieces together to create the joints. The last and the most difficult part is to create this net for building. First we need to draw a few horizontal lines and then screw some back holes at both sides of the slit. Then using the scissor, we can cut the slit out from the two holes at both ends. Make sure you wear a strong glove to avoid hurting your hand. This is how it looks after the net is covered. You can also create a few metal sheets to support the cooking utilities. Next, we are going to do some testing. First is the indoor testing, then followed by the outdoor testing. While you're watching this, please remember to click like, subscribe, share with your friends and click the bell so I can inform you of my next DIY video. Enjoy the rest of the video.
Thanks again. This is Billy.